All right, so we've all said that 40 is the new 30 and 50 is the new 40. So then why, if you get pregnant the day after your 35th birthday, are you suddenly old? It's true. Any pregnancy over the age of 35 is considered a pregnancy of advanced maternal age or even worse, a geriatric pregnancy. This has a lot to do with the fact that we're born with all of our eggs, so we release them as we go through our reproductive years, so by the time we get past 35, the eggs that are left are fewer, and generally speaking, they are of lesser quality than the eggs that were released in our early and mid-20s. What do they mean by lesser quality? It simply means that they are more prone to chromosomal abnormalities. If you're watching this video and you're considering getting pregnant over the age of 35, the first thing I want to say to you is congratulations! There are a lot of pros to getting pregnant later in life. That said, there are some things that you want to pay attention to and to consider. Getting pregnant over the age of 35 does put you at a higher risk of things like miscarriage and stillbirth, and it also makes you at a higher risk of having multiple babies. As we get older, we're more prone to medical conditions, but that's in life, not just in pregnancy. So if you find yourself pregnant of an advanced maternal age, you're going to find that you are at a higher risk bracket of developing pregnancy-induced hypertension, or high blood pressure of pregnancy, and gestational diabetes, or uncontrolled blood sugars in pregnancy. Now these two conditions alone are going to put you at a higher risk of needing an induction of your pregnancy before term, versus somebody who was of a low-risk pregnancy. And also, interestingly enough, advanced maternal age itself has been found in studies to show that you might have a higher risk of needing a c-section. Your risk of having a baby with Down syndrome at the age of 35 is 1 in 353, but this risk greatly increases after the age of 40 to 1 in 85, so definitely something that you want to consider if you're planning on having a baby later in life. But there are some excellent screening tools that are available prenatally to determine the level of risk that your specific pregnancy has uh, for carrying a baby that has a chromosomal abnormality, and if you wish, there are also diagnostic tests that can be done while the baby is in utero to give you a more definitive answer on whether or not that baby has a chromosomal abnormality, but important to note that these tests are completely optional and are only done if you wish them to be done. It's important that you talk to your provider before you get pregnant if possible so you can discuss your specific risks based around your personal lifestyle and your health history and your specific age, and you can also talk about some of those screening tools and if you're interested in having them done once you're pregnant. But other than that, caring for this pregnancy as an advanced maternal age pregnancy is no different than if you were 20 years old. You're going to want to eat well, you're going to want to take your prenatal vitamins and make sure it contains folic acid, you're going to want to be on top of things like your blood pressure and your blood sugar just like you would at a younger age. You're going to want to try to exercise if you can. You're going to want to take care of your mental health and you're going to want to go to your prenatal checkups as they are scheduled. Other than that, congratulations. Pregnancy is amazing.